Hello everyone, this is AB Creative. Today we are going to paint a beautiful autumnal piece with some refined techniques to make it as easy as possible and some real plans to take it to the next level. Let's get right into it. Two weeks ago I posted autumn leaves tutorial. That's the one, really nice and colorful. Thank you very much for the lovely comments, but I did have some questions as well. The main question was, is there any way to make it easier or quicker? Yes, there is, and I'm going to show you one today. All we'll need is a canvas, and I'm going to use a black canvas today. It's actually painted black. It was a white one, but some time ago I painted it black. And all we need is a stencil, and then it's going to be super, super easy. So you choose leaves or a leaf that you like. I was thinking of something that will actually go nicely together with the shape of the canvas. So maple leaf perhaps will be too wide, then I don't want to make a really simple one. So in the end, I've decided I'm going to do something similar to hickory leaf, this elongated one. There are different types, and I think I'll go with this one. This is frisket paper. That's where I'm going to draw my leaf on. So I quickly sketched the size of the stem. Now I'll have the leaves going on both sides. And then I'm plan planning something else. So I don't want the leaf to be so huge that it's going to cover all the canvas. But of course you pick your own leaf, pick the one that you like the most. It doesn't have to be identical. I'm just going to sketch the other leaves. If you want, you may copy from the internet and I'll just add all the rest. Put some music on, have a cup of tea, and then we come back once it's drawn. The interesting thing about these leaves is that they don't have like an elongated part here. and they, they basically grow out of the same section. So that's going to be easier for the cutouts. No need to make it perfect. It's just a leaf. Okay, this is not the easiest one to cut out. Uh, so if it's your first one, I recommend something, you know, like an oak leaf or perhaps a maple leaf or lime leaf. Anyway, I'm going to do this one now. One thing I forgot to tell you, we are going to be using the outside, the negative space. So I'm cutting the leaf out, taking it out and the leftover, that's what I'm going to use. Okay, it's 12 past 10. I'll tell you in real time when I finish the whole thing. It's done. 22, actually 21. So nine minutes. That took me nine minutes. Not too bad. That's my template, which I'm going to stick down now. I'm going to stick the bottom parts together, so it's going to be much easier peeling it off. I'll just put it down like this. I'm, I'm just touching it really gently because I might reposition it. You may wonder why am I putting it here because I want a bit of a fancy shadow. I want one leaf here and the other one behind. So I am thinking this one is going to be here. That one I'm going to reposition slightly. See if you hold it very gently it's going to be fine. I even want them slightly overlapping. Once it's in the right position flip it over and press really hard. So it gets stuck in every single corner. Now I'll show you an easy option for a leaf. So you see, that's a pretty easy to cut out. And this one even easier perhaps. But we are going to do something else here. I just wanted to try something new. So I've got acrylic marker. If I manage to open it, yes I did. And I just want all this to be golden. I could pour it here. It's going to be dry very, very quickly. So I am just going to fill the sections with gold. And you were right. If you were thinking about that, I didn't even need a template. I could have drawn it, but I want it identical to the one I'm going to do in a second. So this is really quick job. 
very therapeutic just coloring in the sections. I can use a brush if I want just to spread it a bit. It's even quicker. You may wonder what is she doing but I did say I want some kind of an overlapping one so we're going to pour over the gold one and hopefully that's going to look very nice. I don't know because I haven't done it before as usual. This is my testing ground here. Okay, see how well the gold looks underneath. Might fix a few bits, maybe. Eh, not bad at all. So now we are putting the same one in a different position. And yes, it's going to cover the gold one partially. And by the way, I must say that I do like this frisket paper. I'm not sponsored by them. I just genuinely like it because it doesn't leave any sticky residue. Not at all. And it's very easy to use. This seems to be very well stuck. Nevertheless, I'm going to do what I always do with stencils. Uh, if I pour in a black background, I cover the area with white because if I'm going to pour lighter colours, I don't want any background to be seen. Also, doing that, I'm kind of sealing the edges and I don't want any paint to seep underneath. So I'm carefully filling each section with white. And yes, I could use a brush, but I like feeling what I'm doing. Have to forgive me. So which colours we are using? We are just going to use, that was brilliant red. We've got some orange mix. Burnt Sienna. Uh, I mix this green myself. That was a bit of pale green, a plus white and plus brown. So I mix it myself. And this is a lemon yellow mixed with orange to create more sort of warmer yellow. So I could do each leaf individually or just to make it more efficient and quicker we're just going to swipe the whole thing and yes I think I'm going to leave it to dry because some people get pretty nervous when I am peeling off the stencils when it's still wet so this time okay I promise you I'll wait. So let's just sprinkle the colours. Just want to be sure that each leaf is covered. I have to put a bit more because if I'm not swiping each leaf, I have to make sure that the whole area is quite wet and especially the endings. We are going to be swiping with black, but very sparse because I definitely don't want the leaves to disappear against the background. So no. Some red, a bit of brown. I don't have much, but I actually don't want much, so... Um, no, I'm not sure about this green, to be honest. Well, maybe just a bit, just a bit, since I have it ready. With red and green, you know, you're always risking getting brown. Should I have some more? Maybe more yellow? Okay, so this is the black tiny tiny amount because I definitely don't want it too dark oh, I forgot to tell you so what I have here one part of paint to one part of pouring medium this is 50% PB glue and 50% water this is my pouring medium and then to that mix I add I would say roughly 25% or 30% of Floetrol it's this consistency the runny honey I was actually thinking, should I add some gold here? Just a tiny bit of gold, it's a really small amount of gold, just to match the, you know, the other leaves. And the gold, as a metallic paint, will also create some nice cells. I don't want to overpower all the other colours. This is the silicon. Uh, there's a link to this product. I'm actually using coconut hair serum, not coconut oil. So please don't use the cooking coconut oil. Mix it really well. I'm going to use a regular paper towel. I'm spraying it with water. This is just water, nothing else added. 
Okay, I'm going to position the black a bit further. Why? Because I don't want too much black on my leaf. As I said before, I want the leaf colourful. I want some cells, but I don't want it really black. So I am, I don't know, maybe just making a line here. This is a total experiment. I don't know if it's going to even work. I just want to make sure that all the section is going to get something. I still have a drop if it doesn't work too well. So very gently I am placing my napkin on the black. See that? Okay, and now super carefully dragging it down. Well, that creates even more cells, you see, oh my goodness. So we've got big ants, whoa, that's plenty, wow, haha, <laughs> okay, so leaving it till tomorrow. I was going to wait till it's completely dry, but I realized I need to edit it quickly. So yes, I am risking it again. And yes, I think I'm going to leave it to dry because some people get pretty nervous when I am peeling off the stencils when it's still wet. So this time, okay, I promise you, I'll wait. Oops, there'll be some cleaning to do, but no worries. You know, since I messed it up a bit, and I knew that might happen, I'll, that's a good opportunity to show you how we can fix it. So you can either use Q-tips, see what happened here in some sections. I've got the paint spilling in between. So that's a good way. Or there's another way. You can use a brush, clean brush, has to be clean, and we can go in between. Just one move with a clean brush. That's why sometimes, sometimes I prefer actually having it wet because I have some control and I can change some bits and you have less of painting the edges later on. If you're very careful with the brush, you can actually fix any imperfection like this. Uh, once it's dry, I might add some dark shadows, especially on this side, so it it will look nice, really nice against the golden one. So, yeah, so that's it at the moment. I'm mixing black with just water and adding shadows, especially underneath the leaves. So I've been looking at the piece and thinking there's something missing. And then I remembered, some time ago, I picked those lovely pieces of plants and grass and then I dried them up. And then I thought, yeah, why don't I try it now? I think that real plants would really, really embellish the piece nicely. Let's see. I've got some spray adhesive here. Let's see if I can attach it to the canvas. What do you think? Well, I've got a couple more to add. This one is going to go at an angle like this. What should I do now? I think I'll add small bits of the stem underneath the leaves. That's what I'll do.
I found one more, just a blade of grass, but I thought it would look nice in gold. So I am covering it with the same marker I did the leaves. I think I'm getting happier and happier now with this one. I wonder what your thoughts are. It would be awesome if you could share them in the comments. I would really appreciate it. Also, if you have any new ideas for me, please, please, please send them to me. I'll make the whole list and at some point I'm sure I'll do it. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed today's piece and I'm really curious which one of my autumn leaf series is your favorite. I always enjoy your feedback and if it's your first time you might consider subscribing. I have new videos coming every Saturday and I chat with my subscribers live when they premiere. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!